What's going on guys, Team Mart here, and today I've got something a little bit different for you guys. So, uh, we are going to be doing some furniture restoration, or not really restoration, I guess alteration or something like that. So, uh, you guys know I'm getting ready to move into the new place, I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, you guys haven't seen it yet, I haven't like, you know, showed you guys or anything yet, but um, Basically what it is, is it's right on a lake. It has like a boat dock, I wanna get a jet ski for it and stuff like that. And you know, obviously like I'm in Florida, so like if it's in Florida on the water, I wanted to go with kind of like, more of like a, a tropical, like beachy type, you know, kind of like theme for the house. Like I've, I've, you know, lived in places, quite a few places over the past couple of years, and I never really like make it feel like a home or feel like a house. Like it's always just like, it's the same old furniture that I've always had that, you know, I've got the same dining room table I had in all my places, same, you know, lamp, same everything. So I kind of want to start with some fresh stuff. And I want to have it all like tied together and really be a, a little bit more beachy, I guess. Which uh, I think it'll be cool to kind of have a, a home that's like, you know, it feels like a home. It's not just like a, an apartment, essentially. Like, I, I'm tired of just living with that, like, kind of modern, like, apartment looking stuff. So, we're going to, what we're going to be doing is I, I think I'm going to make my, like, bedroom, like, the, the, the bed and then the dressers and stuff like that. I think I want them to be kind of like an off-whitish type color. Uh, Cause the rest of the house there's like white paneling on some of it and then there's like you know bright blues and stuff like that and uh, Chelsea like it, this isn't my doing as much per se Chelsea actually like she has a really good eye for this kind of thing and like her apartment is really done really well So she's helping me out with this and this is kind of the same theme that her apartment has So what I'm going to be doing is rather than immediately just going out and buying new furniture I'm going to try to be a little bit more uh, you know kind of resourceful And we're going to try to change the color of this black furniture here to white, which is not gonna be easy. I'm not sure it's gonna be able to be done, but it's gonna be something we're gonna try to do and bring you guys along for the ride and we're gonna see how it happens. So the first thing we're gonna be doing today is the bed. That's like one of the, the centerpiece, one of the most important parts. That's what we're gonna start with. So Coda, you're gonna have to get off the bed. You look mighty comfortable up there. I'm gonna have to move you. I'm sorry about that. But we're gonna you know, take the bed apart. We're gonna bring it outside. I got you know a little sandpaper scrubber thing and sandpaper. We're gonna have to sand all the, the current paint off and then we're gonna try uh, with some some spray paint, we're gonna see how the spray paint paint uh, spray paint look work, but see how the spray paint look works. And uh, I don't know, like I was trying to decide, do I want to do spray paint or do I want to do the flat paint? And she used the spray paint on her bed frame before, and it turned out really good. So I figured we're gonna go ahead and try that. So that's what we're gonna go with. Hopefully it works out well. Let's do it. way too difficult to wrestle these guys off the bed but uh, we got the the box spring and the mattress off now we need to take the bed slats out then we take these little kind of like metal rods out and then you guys can see here we need to go get like the IKEA tool that will take these out and the bed splits up into four pieces there's a headboard the footboard and the two side rails so we're gonna do that then we're gonna take them outside and we're gonna start sanding them down So the crazy thing is, is usually when you hear people talking about IKEA furniture, which is what all of that is, uh, it's always like, oh, you put it together like Legos, like it's not made very well, stuff like that. I bought this furniture and what year was it? 2011? Was it 2012? 2011 or 2012 when I moved out to LA and I put it together in LA, lived in it for about a year, took it apart, moved it all the way across the country to Iowa, put it together, lived in it for about eight months, took it apart, moved it across Iowa, put it together, lived in it for like six months, took it apart, moved it to Illinois, moved it down to Florida, put it together, lived in it, and then now I'm taking it apart again. So it's literally worked so many times and it's still super, super sturdy and stuff. So I don't know if I've had like a really good experience with Ikea or what, but uh, Cooper's checking it out right now. And now we're gonna get into the sanding. So I don't have like an automatic sander or anything like that. I don't really typically have sanding needs, so we're gonna see what happens here. Here we go, I'll set you guys down. You guys can check out the baby right there. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna take her in for a tire pressure thing tomorrow, but um, yeah, so what we're gonna be doing here 
is we are going to get our sandpaper. We have course number 60. I don't know, sorry, I'm, a, I'm a kind of a noob with this kind of stuff. So we're gonna open this up. So it looks like we have one sheet of sandpaper right here. We got that. And I also got this thing right here, the Sandblaster Pro large sanding tool. Handle rotates 360 degrees like a boss, just like FaZe Clan, that's why I got it. And uh, we are gonna try to install the sandpaper in this thing. And I'm, I've never used one of these things before, so it's gonna be interesting to see if it works out. Uh, looks like it already has some sandpaper installed. To show you as an example, oh wow, that's super easy. Look at that, it just snaps down on each end. You got some sandpaper there. So what we're gonna be doing, Coop, what's up, bud? I'm gonna bring you guys over here. And uh, I don't know, do you just do you just start sanding? Like, you just start sanding like this? Oh man, that kind of, should I be doing this outside? Is it, is this the same thing as huffing paint? Maybe I should be doing this outside. I'm gonna close the garage door and uh, we'll open it up. All right, well I know it can't be nearly as bad for you as actually like sniffing wet paint, but I feel like it's not good to have paint particles flying around in your mouth and near the car and stuff. So we're gonna do this out here. Hopefully it works out well. It wor it, it's working way better than I thought it was going to. Honestly, I had no clue what to expect here, but it looks like it's, it's taking most of the paint off. And hope the spray paint's actually gonna stick. So let's get this thing done. We're gonna get the top, the, the side, and then I don't think, should we do the bottom? Maybe we should do the bottom. I don't think we're gonna do the inside though because nobody's ever gonna see that. So we're gonna do the top, the side, and then maybe the bottom, and uh, then we'll bring in some spray paint and see how that works. So here we go. Let's do it, boys. All right, so now I'm seeing a little bit better. You guys can see. Look how you can see the wood here. You see I can start to see the wood grain. There's still some black there. But if you scrub hard enough, you start to see the wood. So we're getting a workout. We're getting some sun. We're outside, baby. Gamer's outside. We're taking a field trip. All right, so I'm a couple minutes in, and this is not easy work. Oh my goodness, so you guys can see, we have this whole side pretty much done. And that's just a skinny little piece on one edge of the bed. We have so much more to go. Oh boy, this is gonna take me more than just today. I, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna think about, they, they have to have like a power tool of this, right? I feel like that might be a pretty good investment, but uh, we're gonna keep going at this. I'll catch up with you guys once we're done, and uh, We'll start trying out the spray paint. It's taken to the grass really well, as you guys can see. So I probably should have went and got some sawhorses or something to just like lift it up off the ground. You can do it on those. I actually, I think I, I might even, might even have some in the garage. No, oh, maybe not. I don't know. I did it in my old place. I don't think I have have any now. So yeah, you guys can see the sweat dripping down my face. We're going to let this dry for a second and uh, we're going to flip it over to the main part. Let that dry and fingers crossed it turns out at least halfway decent and this wasn't a big waste of time. I'll see you guys there. I think we're done and I honestly don't think that it turned out too bad. It's obviously not going to be perfect. We're probably going to have to go, go back and do some touch-ups and stuff, but uh, I think overall it turned out pretty well. I didn't, uh, didn't get too close on, uh, on the areas, and I didn't like you know get it too globby and, and not enough in other areas and stuff like that. Like I said, there are a couple of spots we'll probably have to go back and do a second coat just because it's hard to put white over black, even if you get most of the black off. Obviously, I didn't get all the black off, so we're going to do that. One thing I do want to show you guys is we're going to step up our game, so check this out. As I was waiting for the top to dry, I just placed a, uh, a new order on Amazon. Let me make sure my address isn't gonna show up. Actually, it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna live here anymore. Check this out, boys. We have a couple, of two pack of sawhorses here, a pack of um, circular sandpaper things, and a Black & Decker sander that I Amazon primed to be here tomorrow. So tomorrow, we're gonna pick back up and uh, we're gonna pick up where we left off. We're gonna do the other one with this. We're gonna do the headboard, the footboard, 
and maybe even get to the uh, the nightstands and stuff. Probably not those yet, but uh, at least we're we're gonna do the other stuff. You know, at least for now, the at least the bed. We're gonna get the bed done, and hope that works out well. So I'll bring you guys along for the ride. I've never used a sander. Obviously, I'm gonna have to wear some like eye protection and stuff like that, and uh, and make sure I'm being smart with it. But it should be a good time. I'm gonna let this dry. Once it's dried, I'll show it off to you guys, and we'll see how it looks. Alrighty, guys. Well, we started as black. And now we're white. You can see it's not perfect, but I guess it's kind of a start. So we'll see how this works out. I'm probably gonna continue with this project. Like I said, there'll be a part two with the sander and everything. Hopefully everything ends up working uh, the way it's supposed to be, and hopefully this ends up being uh, at least at least doable. Hopefully it's usable in the uh, in the new house. So we'll see how it works. Hope you guys enjoyed. I cannot believe I just made a video this long about me sanding down a bed and then spray painting it, but uh, I don't know, maybe you guys enjoy it. Maybe you guys are weird like that. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.